Hi, this is Annie of ByAnnie.com and Patterns by Annie. Thank you so much for joining us today for Live with Annie. As usual, we've started the stream a bit early. This helps us get everything set up and broadcasting properly to our various platforms. You can find a countdown clock on the screen showing how long it will be until we actually go live. While you wait, please connect with us and other viewers in the chat. Let us know where you are from and whether you're a new or longtime viewer. We'll see you live soon. Again for joining us for Live with Annie. We are so happy to have you with us today. While you wait for the program to start, we hope you'll enjoy the content playing on screen. There's so much inspiration, so take a moment to tell us what you love in the chat. Don't forget there is a countdown clock on the screen so you know how long until we go live.
Hi, it's Annie again reminding you that we'll be going live with this week's episode shortly. There is a countdown clock on the screen showing how much time is left. You've got just enough time to grab some water or a beverage of your choice and a snack and to connect with us in the chat. We'd love to hear what you've been working on this week. It's Annie, back to remind you that we'll be starting this week's live very shortly. We've got a really fun episode planned for today, and we'll see you soon. Hi, I'm Annie of ByAnnie.com and Patterns by Annie. Thank you so much for joining us for Episode 34 of Season 3 of Live with Annie. Today we are showcasing our updated pattern, Diddy Bags 2.0. Pretty and practical, these zippered bags with heights, side handles, and diagonal borders are quick and easy to make. And the pattern includes instructions for bags in three sizes. They make great gifts. Join us to see all of Diddy Bag 2.0's features and discover tips for making your own. If you enjoy these episodes, please take a minute to follow us wherever you are watching. And if you know someone else who you think might enjoy the information that we share, we'd love it if you'd tell them about Life with Annie too. The easiest way to do that is to tag them while you're watching. That will take them directly to the episode so they can watch it as well. To tag someone, just type the at symbol, followed by their name, click it, and submit. Also, we love reading your comments, so please be sure to interact with us throughout this presentation. We want to know what you think, and we love learning from you, too. 
I'm in Norway this week, so we've pre-recorded this episode. But the rest of the Biani team is here to answer any questions that you might have, so be sure to add them in the comments or chat. Remember, too, that you can also email us at info at if you have any questions about this new pattern or any other Biani pattern or product. Last week, we introduced our courtside pattern, which makes a full-featured backpack racket tote that's perfect for anyone with a, an active lifestyle. If you missed it or you want to watch it again, remember that you can find all the previous 134 episodes of Live with Annie on our Facebook page, our YouTube channel, or at byannie.com. We'll put up all the links to make them easy for you to find. So as I said earlier, today we're showcasing our new pattern, Diddy Bags 2.0 which includes instructions for handy zippered bags in three sizes. The bags have handles on each side to make it easy to open and close the zippers. And they have diagonal borders that add interest to the front. Those borders can be embellished with ribbon if you'd like. Scoot those over. Another option is to skip the borders entirely as we did on this set of bags. It had a great um, motif on it and I didn't feel like the border would add anything to that so I fussy cut to try to center those motifs in each area and just skipped the borders completely. You will love how quick and easy ditty bags are to make and there are so many ways to use these versatile bags and they're perfect for gifts. My tester said it took more time to cut out and quilt the fabric than it took to assemble them. We are going to start today by playing the An Introduction and a Closer Look videos for Diddy Bags 2.0. Then I'll be back to give you a closer look at some of the bags we made and show how Diddy Bags compare to other similar Biani bags. Hi, I'm Annie with Biani.com and Patterns by Annie. I can't wait to tell you about our pattern Diddy Bags 2.0, which includes instructions for handy zippered bags in three sizes. We all have stuff to organize, protect, carry, and store, and these practical little bags are the perfect solution. The variety of sizes makes them versatile for so many uses, and their unisex design makes them a perfect gift for men, women, or children. Diddy Bags 2.0 are constructed of fabric stabilized with soft and stable. So the bags have great body and stability and really stand up and hold their shape. If you've made our Easy Does It bag, you'll love learning some new techniques as you make these simple bags. Like Easy Does It, the Diddy Bags zippered top extends partway down each side, providing easy access to all the bag's contents. Handles on each end make it easy to open and close the zipper or carry the bag. Unlike Easy Does It, which has a front and a back joined by a zipper side strip loop, the body of Diddy Bags is made with one piece of quilted fabric. It wraps around to form the top, front, bottom, and back of the bag. Bag sides are attached to finish the bag. The skills learned as you make Diddy Bags 2.0 are a great introduction to get out of town and travel duffel bag, which are made in a similar manner. There are so many ways to use these versatile and stylish bags. The small bag will carry your most important beauty supplies or other personal items and is sized to fit easily in many bags or purses. Not too small and not too big, the medium case fits neatly into a larger bag and will carry and protect a variety of supplies, such as chargers, cords, and earbuds. Or use it to corral rotary cutters, replacement blades, scissors, and other sewing supplies when you're headed to class or a retreat. For more than the basics, the spacious large bag holds bottles, brushes, and more. It's perfect for organizing everything when you travel. Use it to organize a diaper bag. It's perfect to hold diapers, wipes, a change of clothes, and more. Or use more masculine fabrics for a great toiletry bag for a guy. 
The Diddy Bags 2.0 pattern includes step-by-step -step instructions to make these professionally finished bags in three convenient sizes. Ask for Diddy Bags 2.0 at your local quilt shop or find it at byani.com. If you have more questions, be sure to watch the A Closer Look video, which gives more info about gathering supplies and customizing the project. Hi, I'm Annie with ByAnnie.com and Patterns by Annie, and I'd like to give you a little more information about our pattern, Diddy Bags 2.0. This pattern includes instructions for making handy zippered bags in three sizes. The majority of each bag is assembled while it is flat, making construction extra easy. Then a zipper is attached to the body to form a loop, and the sides are attached to finish the bag. The Diddy Bags 2.0 pattern recommends three fabrics for each bag. A main fabric, which is used for the exterior of the bag body and sides, a lining fabric used for the interior of those pieces, and a coordinating fabric used for the border, handles, zipper pull, and bindings. Of course, if you prefer to mix things up, add more fabrics, or even use just one fabric, you can certainly do that. Just know that you'll need to come up with your own cutting layouts, and you may need different amounts of fabric than what is called for on the supply list. The bags use just small amounts of fabric and supplies, so are perfect for using fabrics from your stash or leftovers from other projects. For this set of bags, we used quilted fabric left from another project, alternating the fabric so that the main fabric is the exterior on the small and large bags, and the lining fabric is the exterior on the medium. We alternated those same fabrics as the coordinate on each bag. Directional fabrics will work fine for this project, and the pattern includes tips for their use. The body of each bag is made using quilted fabric, which you'll create by quilting the main and lining fabrics with Soft and Stable. The pieces are really small, so perfect for practicing your machine quilting skills. If you need more information about quilting, please check out our free patterns Peacekeeper and Easy Does It. You'll find lots of tips for quilting in the add-on videos for those projects. The Diddy Bags 2.0 pattern includes step-by-step -step instructions to make these professionally finished bags in three convenient sizes, and is an update of our original Diddy Bags pattern, which was first released in 2012. In addition to greatly improving the illustrations, we've updated the instructions to make assembly easier and included instructions for working with directional fabrics. We put handles on both ends and changed the border to a diagonal border, adding the option of embellishing the border with decorative ribbon. You will love this new version. We also filmed an add-on video to help you with the more unique or challenging aspects of the pattern. You'll find bullets in the pattern indicating steps that are covered. You will find a full list of supplies on the back cover of the Diddy Bags 2.0 pattern. If you don't yet have the pattern, you can also find the list on the Diddy Bags 2.0 product page at byani.com. Just click on the Supply List tab. Diddy Bags 2.0 would make a great afternoon or evening project for confident beginners to more advanced makers. The design of the bag is very straightforward, and most of the assembly is done on a flat piece. The project involves basic skills used in many Biani patterns, and to help ensure success, we've filmed an add-on video for Diddy Bags 2.0. It will help you conceptualize the project and take you through the more challenging or unique parts of the pattern. You are sure to enjoy making these versatile bags for yourself or others. We can't wait to see what you make and how you use them, so be sure to share pictures of your finished projects with us. I hope you enjoyed learning more about Diddy Bags 2.0 and that you're excited to make your own. If you'd like more info about the fabrics that we used in the models that were shown in those videos, be sure to watch the end of the A Closer Look video. You'll find it on the product page for Diddy Bags 2.0 at our website, byani.com.
Diddy bags use just small amounts of fabric and soft and stable, a bit of zipper, and no hardware. So they're perfect for using leftovers from other projects, as we did on these set of Diddy bags that we made with a new fabric but called Grace from Valerie Wells. So on this set, we used the lighter floral as the exterior for each of the bags and used a different coordinating print for the, the diagonal borders, bindings, and handles. On this one, we used that same fabric, which we had quilted with an aubergine on the inside, and we used the aubergine as the main on the small and the large, and then we used the lining side out, or the lighter print for the inside. And then we used the same coordinating print to tie everything together. That gives some variety of the set, but we only had to use one piece of quilted fabric. The small and medium bags use just fat quarters or less, and the large uses just a little bit more, so they're perfect for using fabrics from your stash or fabrics you've been hoarding from your favorite designer. These um, bags were a, a particular hit at the show we did in Houston last week. Everybody really loved those fabrics. Where should I put these? We'll throw them here. All right, as we said in the video, directional fabrics will work fine for Diddy bags, and the pattern includes instructions for their use. So you can prepare the fabric before you quilt it by cutting two pieces, rotating them, and rejoining them before quilting. Or if you're using pre-quilted fabrics, as we often do, you can cut the pre-quilted fabric into two pieces and join those. You will find instructions for the sizes to cut and how to join them using that method on page one of the pattern, and if you need any help, be sure to check out our Using Directional Fabrics videos. You can access that video in the public video section of your digital library, or you'll find it on the Tutorials tab at Biani.com. Before we close, I want to show you how Diddy Bags compares to other Biani patterns for small zippered bags. This set. So as you can see, the large Diddy Bag is very similar in size to our Easy Does It Bag. It's a tiny bit less deep, but it's a little bit taller and a little bit wider. And just like Easy Does It, it has a zipper that goes partway down each side for easy access. Construction, however, is quite different. Rather than having a front, a back, and a zipper side strip loop as Easy Does It does, Diddy Bags is constructed with just one piece of fabric that folds around to make the top, front, bottom, and back of the bag. Rectangles are cut out of each side, and ends are attached to create the sides of the bag. On the original version of Diddy Bags, these ends were rounded, which made it a little harder for the bags to stand up. So we've changed the method of attaching the ends to the body of the bag in this new 2.0 version, and that results in bags that stand up better and have more consistent shape. Plus, as you know, Diddy Bags includes instructions for three different sizes, so you get lots of, uh, lots of more variety there. Let's look, let's look at this one next. So here's another Biani pattern that makes small zippered bags, Clam Up. This has been our best-selling pattern since its introduction in 2018, and the pattern includes instructions for bags in five sizes. So you can go all the way down to a really small one. Like Diddy Bags, the body of Clam Up is made with just one piece of fabric that forms the front, bottom, and back of the bag. There is no real top, and the base is much larger on Clam Up than it is on Diddy Bags. But if you've enjoyed making Clam Up, I know you are going to enjoy Diddy Bags too. Both sets of these bags are perfect for holding makeup, toiletries, sewing supplies, tech gear, and more and they're perfect for anyone on your gift list, men, women, or children. Pull up this set next, because I want to show you these. Get these out of the way here. Mm -hmm. So the thing that I like about Diddy Bags in comparison to Clam Up, for instance, is that I think it has a more unisex design. 
and their rectangular design would probably enable them to fit a little more easily in a variety of bags than the deeper and wider clam up bags. There's a little bit more binding on Diddy bags, but its zipper is installed on a straight edge, and since they don't require templates, I think they're easier to cut out. I'm hoping that Diddy Bags 2.0 is going to give Clam Up a run for its money and that it has a cha challenge um, for the best selling spot on the list. So, I hope you enjoyed learning more about Diddy Bags 2.0, and we can't wait to see what you make. So, be sure to share photos of your finished projects with us and to enter our monthly photo contest. You can win up to $50, and we award several prizes each month. You can get all the details at our website by clicking on the Photo Contest Gallery link at the top menu bar. As always, please ask for these patterns and supplies at your local quilt shop. These shops are such an important part of our sewing and quilting community, and it's up to all of us to keep them strong and vibrant. If they don't have these products, they can certainly get them, either from their favorite distributor or directly from us. We are happy to set up wholesale accounts for qualified stores, so just ask them to contact us for more information. Quick drink before I move on. It's time now for our featured local quilt shops of the week. At Biani, we are all about supporting local quilt shops, and one of our favorite events each year is the local quilt shop contest, which we celebrate in February. During that contest, we encourage sewists to vote for their favorite quilt shop and share a little bit about what makes them special. Then to continue the fun and support of local businesses, each week we highlight a store or more and some of their voter submissions during Live with Annie. We are starting today in Hatenhusa, Denmark at Kirsten's Quilts, the regional winner for Denmark in this year's LQS contest. Owner Kirsten Ekdahl loves brights and batiks and works hard to provide customers with a great selection of quality fabrics, threads, patterns, and notions. The store started as an online shop in 2004 and opened a brick and mortar shop in 2008 to supplement the online shop. The shop is about 2,500 square feet and the classroom about 1,700 square feet. It's located in the countryside close to Copenhagen. The shop is on an old farm where the stables have been converted to the shop with the classroom upstairs in the old hayloft. Sounds delightful. The shop has a huge selection of batiks and prints along with bag hardware, mesh, zippers, and other bag accessories. They carry a variety of patterns, including bag patterns, a lot of different rulers, and among those are rulers from Creative Grids. You'll also find a variety of battings, wool, cotton poly, silk, and more, and a large selection of thread, including King Tut and Glide machine quilting thread. They now carry the full Biani range of hardware, zippers by the yard, mesh and fold-over elastic, and whatever else you need for bag making. Classes are available on various techniques, among them machine quilting with rulers, paper piecing, and textile art. The shop has numerous classes, including Biani classes, too, with local as well as internationally renowned instructors. Customers who voted for Kirsten's Quilt in this year's contest praised the store's selection and owner. Louise noted that they have a wide range of everything you need for patchwork and quilting. And Jenny praised the store's huge assortment and competent advice. Linda said, this is a large, beautiful shop with everything the heart could desire. Kirsten is a fantastic shop owner and quick to help and order the supplies you need. Her classes are wonderful experience every time. I've enjoyed visiting with Kirsten at market a number of times, including this year when she filmed a video to teach me how to pronounce the name of her town, and I am so tickled to see the photos of her beautiful shop. Congratulations and best wishes to Kirsten. One more drink. Next, we're going to travel to Shawnigan Lake, British Columbia, Canada to visit Troll Brothers Quilt Designs. They were the regional winners for in this year's LQS contest for BC. Owner Stacy Williams, excuse me, owner Stacy Wilson tells us, 
I spent my formative years on the Canadian prairies. Then my family moved to the island, and now I'm a lake-loving, flip-flop-wearing coastal gal. My first passion is my family. My now-grown sons are the original trolls. In business, I am passionate about bringing new tools and skills to quilters. In my heart, I'm a modern quilter, but I have also done garment sewing and lots of bag making as well. I love putting a modern spin on traditional quilts. We started as a home-based as a home-based business in 2018 with the goal of making quilting more affordable and accessible, but it wasn't long before demand well outstripped the space available. In May 2021, yes, in the midst of the pandemic, we found the perfect location to open a storefront and were able to welcome quilters to our new shop. This also opened the door to new lines of products and more collections. The shop is in an old church building and still carries those hallmarks. High ceilings, open beams, timber rafters, and lots of nooks and crannies. Instead of stained glass, the color and light comes from the bright quilts flung over the rafters and hung on the walls. It's the perfect drop fo dr backdrop for the bright selection of fabrics we have to offer. As a location, it's fun, funky, and quirky. That's kind of how our business is, too. We are located in the heart of Shawnigan Village among funky eateries and conveniently right across from the post office as we still have a lot of customers who like to shop online, online from all over Canada, the U.S., and internationally. Our collections definitely skew toward the modern, but we have a full range of basics and a fantastic array of low volume prints. We are also well known to have the best selection of English paper piecing supplies on the island. In the past two years, we have built up our stock of bag making products and patterns, which has energized quilters and brought new customers to our shop. We have an impressive array of Biani patterns, a wall of wonder and awe. And it's my objective to sew a sample of each design. We believe it's essential for customers to witness the bag sizes and recognize that we make every piece. Our experienced team of bag makers will be there to help and address any questions that may come up. I loved hearing that. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced maker, our instructor Avril, I know Avril through the Bag Makers Group, welcomes you to join in on a class. Avril will guide you through the process of creating your own Biani bag. So be sure to check out the link to our class schedule and stay tuned as we frequently add new classes to the schedule. We sell domestic Juki sewing machines and sergers and carry the Grace Cutie frames. We are also a supplier of Stas hanging systems, which are perfect for hanging quilts. We recently hosted our first retreat, Sew in the Bay, and already have plans and pre-bookings for our next two. Turns out, people love coming to the island for first-class hospitality, spectacular views, and expert instruction. Who knew? We did. Customers who voted for Troll Brothers Quilt Designs in this year's LQS contest praised the store's selection, staff, and atmosphere. Ilka said, Modern fabrics in a traditional setting, the best of all worlds. A fantastic selection of bag making supplies, including a complete line of Biani products. Great service, very competitive prices, and a creative spin on just about everything. And Tanya added, This is the most well stocked little shop I've ever shopped from. Stacy has a rainbow of zippers and bag hardware to choose from to go with every pattern imaginable. I love shopping at a place that keeps a steady rotation of the good stuff. The shop has the most fun live videos and craziest TikToks to show off all their goods, definitely deserving of this win. And Devin wrote, the selection and staff are outstanding. Whether I am just browsing or come in with a project in mind, I never t fail to leave with some goodies and a spring in my step. Troll Brothers is the epitome of what a small but mighty quilting shop should be. The curation of all the colors, shades, patterns, and textures speaks to you, no matter your skill level or artistic confidence. It truly is an experience that should be repeated often just to nourish the soul. I loved reading those. 
When asked about the impact of the LQS contest on the store, Stacy said, It was humbling to have our customers show their pride in Troll Brothers by tar- participating in the contest and leaving their generous comments. It definitely raised their awareness of the full range of Biani products that we carry. We've taken advantage of several trunk, so- trunk show collections, which helps people see what's possible in using Biani designs and products. I loved hearing all that, and I enjoyed visiting with Stacy at the H and H show in Chicago this past summer. She was wearing an awesome "Got Your Back" backpack that she'd made, and I send lots of gradu- congratulations and good wishes to Stacy and everyone at Troll Brothers Quilt Designs. Thank you again to everyone who joined us today. We will be back next Wednesday at 2 p.m. Mountain Time with another inspiring episode of Live with Annie when we introduce our updated pattern, Out to Lunch 2.0. You will love learning about these fun bags that make great purses or lunch bags, so be sure to mark your calendar now to join us. And until then, happy stitching! <laughs>